I love taking walks outside. They get me out in the fresh air and sunshine, they give me exercise, and most of all, I love looking at nature when I'm outdoors. I especially love walks in the springtime. It's my favorite season. It's when birds are migrating back to Ontario for the first time, and they start looking for mates, calling out their territories, and building nests. It's really exciting to see or hear some birds for the first time that year, like robins, goldfinches, or even hawks. Hmm. It got me thinking, what would it be like to be a bird? Could I fly like a bird? Nope. Could I eat like a bird? Nope. Could I build a nest? Yeah, I can totally build a nest, and I just did. It was tons of fun. How do birds build nests, though? I have a vague idea how, but vague isn't going to cut it. This requires some serious research to the internet. I'll start by searching different types of bird's nest, just to see what's out there. Whoa, that's a lot. It's kind of amazing how many different types of nests there are. There's nests that are tucked under overhangs, nests that are built into cliffs, nests built onto cliffs, nests that look like bags hanging from branches, huge woody nests high above the water, tiny downy nests. Wow, this is incredible. I never knew there would be so much variety. It got me thinking, nests are homes, right? And humans build homes too. I wonder if there are as many different types of homes as there are nests. Here's a few that I found. There are apartment buildings, mansions, duplexes, detached homes, tree houses, houses built into the side of a cliff, igloos, longhouses, cabins, castles. A shelter is a structure that provides protection against dangers, such as bad weather or predators. When it comes to a bird's nest, many things can damage the nest, which would threaten the birds. Therefore, for a nest to be a good shelter, it has to be strong and stable. If you're a bird, you've got to build a nest that's perfect for where you want to live, and you have to use the right materials. I noticed in my research that nests aren't just made out of twigs. Birds use all sorts of materials. Grass, mud, feathers, even rocks, and of course, twigs and sticks. Of course, not all materials can be used to build a nest. Some materials are too heavy, too stiff, too sharp, or way too uncomfortable. Now, personally, I think rocks are way too uncomfortable, but I guess some birds are okay with that. Okay, now I'm ready to scour the Science Center for some nest building materials of my own. Why don't you pause the video here and see what you can find in your house or classroom. Ready, set, go. All right, I got what I need. Let's get to work. I decided to build a nest that would support a robin's size and weight. And you know what? I'm pretty happy with this. It sure looks like a nest, but does it work like one? Only one way to find out. We have to add a load to the nest to determine if it's strong enough. A load is an object that is supported by a structure. I wanted my nest to be able to support a robin's family. I found out that the average adult robin weighs around 65 to 85 grams, just like this toy. And the average robin egg weighs around 5.5 to 6.5 grams, which is just about a quarter and a dime. Robins typically lay three to five eggs, so I multiplied the egg's weight by three. Then I added the adult's weight. Hmm, that didn't work. Looks like my nest wasn't able to support the load of the robin let alone its whole family. Maybe I can add more materials to make it stronger. Success! But what about stability? 
Structures need to be strong enough to hold up a load and stable so they don't fall over or break apart. In nature, nests need to be stable enough to resist the force of strong winds or rain. I know it's not natural, but you can't order the wind to blow when and where you want it to. I decided to use this fan to create a powerful gust of air. Oh no! My nest failed the wind test. It wasn't stable enough to resist the wind, so back to the drawing board. I decided to use some material that was stiff or more rigid in order to create a more stable structure. Success! It's great to see that my nest is strong and stable, but there are other changes I can make to make it more realistic. I added some colored materials to help camouflage my nest, and some materials on the inside of my nest to help it make it more comfortable for the robin family. So how are you feeling about your new nest? I think they like it. Now it's your turn. Pick a bird and with a little research and testing, you can build a super cool nest as well. And hey, don't let a little bit of failure get you down. When you're creating, designing and building, failures and mistakes are what lead to something great. If you're looking for more guidance or inspiration, check out our website. When you're done with your creations, feel free to use our social media channels. And as we'd say at the Ontario Science Centre, don't forget to ask, test, and repeat. Have fun building.